These gifts were people charged to build the church. Yeah. He gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Today we are concerned with pastors yeah. and their vital work. Yeah. The pastor is the builder, always on duty. Amen? Yeah. We find that in a lot of cases, the builder often needs building up. The question is, how can the church build up the pastor? All right. Let us start by recognizing the pastor is a gift. Yeah. And what do you do with a gift? You receive a gift with gladness. Yeah. You receive a gift with thanksgiving. Yeah. You receive a gift with thanks. The pastor is truly a gift. Yeah. Amen. As it was outlined in our scripture, he gave pastors. He gave some pastors. Yeah. We must also take notice the giver of this gift is Christ. Amen. God has given us Dr. Gorman. Yeah. He is a gift to the church. Yeah. No matter what we're going through, he is the gift that God has presented to us. Yeah. He is a man directed by God's insight. Yeah. We find that we should receive this gift with gratitude. Yeah. Thanking the Lord for this gift that he has given to the church. Yeah. Church, we must look for the hand, the hands and the hearts of the guilt. Oh, yeah. Search our own hearts and give thanks daily for this gift. Amen. Yeah. We find that this is a gift of love oh, yeah. from the one who loves the church. Yeah. Yeah. It is very hard to be a pastor if you do not love the church. Yeah. Next, we must see the pastor as a guide. Yeah. The pastor means shepherd. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shepherd, guide, their sheep. Yes. Don't reject the guidance of the shepherd when he is being led by God. Right. Yes. He is responsible to lead the church. Yes. He has a very, very tough responsibility. Yes. It is easy for Reverend Patterson to come in here and preach and give a, a God, give a message from God and give the benediction and go home. But as a pastor, it's more to it than just that. It is the will of God being instructed to him that he may carry out God's will for the people. Yes. Pastor, as I said, means shepherd. A shepherd guides his sheep. Yes. And the Bible tells us plainly that he is responsible to lead the church. Yes. We find that a good shepherd leads the sheep into green pasture yes. and good spiritual food yes, sir. for the mind, body, and the soul. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
particular group yeah. that want to go their own way. Yeah. But don't fault the pastor if you choose to go your own way. Yeah. The pastor is there for you. Yes, if you just look and try to see what God is trying to tell you about this gift that he has given to the church, yeah. you will find that he is a devoted man to his job. Yeah. He really does. I don't care what circumstances we may be under. The pastor still gets on the phone and calls. Even when we don't report to him, he still gets on the phone and calls and says, well, Reverend, I was wondering about what was going on. Because we must realize that sometimes we have problems in our home. And sometimes we just want to keep to ourselves. But the concerned pastor does go out there and still try to find out if there's anything that I can do. If I can help you with anything, let me know. The pastor can't help you if you won't open up and tell you. Amen? Amen. That's right. When death comes, when problems arise, when your marriage is on the rocks, when your children are acting up or either locked down, he is still there by the will of God taking care of the sheep. Calling your name in prayer at Bible study. If you're not in Bible study, you might not know this, but he's still Baptist 
raptured. Yeah. Even when on my off Sundays, I'm going back over there because I had a good time. Yeah. You ain't going to have too many people coming this way if we are tearing down our pastor. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We need to stay on one accord. Be on one accord. Yeah. Build up one another. Yeah. There is no one who is more important as a special gift oh. than a man given by God. Successful, and that is the L O V. 
die Insel. It's just another day. 